Hey guys, tough here. Just want to show you some more Razer Tartarus V2 slash Pro mod stuff. I know I recently just made a video and talked about some mod improvements that I did. And in that video, I mentioned trying and failing with an internal hub. Well, I'm revisiting it with a different hub, um, actually two different hubs. I'll explain. Just for those of you maybe who haven't been keeping up with this, the goal that I've got is taking my analog mod and reducing it down to one USB cable, basically feeding everything through kind of the factory uh, USB cable that comes on the, on the device. And the uh, since the, the, the stick, which is right here, needs its own PCB, Uh, that you know, and when therefore it's on USB cable. Historically, this mod has had two uh, two USB cables: the original factory cable and then the new cable that kind of comes out of the back. Uh, so, what we're doing now, or what I'm trying now, is embedding a USB hub inside the device and rerouting the internal. PCB out or in to the hub, one port on the hub, routing the uh, microcontroller or the Teensy for the stick to another port on the hub, and then routing the original factory cable to the out or whatever port of the hub. Um, so when you plug in the factory cable, you're actually plugging in an internal USB USB hub that each device is kind of hooked into. So that that's the idea and this is what it looks like internally so here's my analog stick I've got it on a detachable plug going to this and this board right here is the teensy and I've got it USB out to one of the ports on this hub this is a USB 3.0 hub I got from Amazon that has two USB 2.0 ports and one USB 3 port. Well, these are both USB 2 devices, so I'm using the two USB 2 ports. Um, it's a lot less wiring. If you want to wire up USB 3.0, you need more wires. There's more There's more pins. But this is easier this way. Um, the last hub I tried was a... I'm trying to think of the brand. It was either Pluggable, the Pluggable brand, or Cables to Go brand don't remember exactly, USB 2.0 two port hub and it worked. I had it similarly set up, it worked, but after a couple days of testing, it the hub died. The Teensy didn't die, the Teensy didn't die, and the Tartarus, Tartarus board did not die. Those are fine, um, but the hub, the hub died. So I'm gonna be testing this one for the same amount of time, a little bit longer to see if it is, it's gonna survive. My, my suspicion is that that hub is just that hub was just not of decent enough quality and would have died whoever was using it. I'm not aware of anything that I that I would have done to it that would have made it die because it, it it worked at first. Um, for those of you who are interested, and I'll give I'll make a link in the description for the Amazon product, but this is the this is the exterior enclosure of this hub. And, uh, you know, to make it fit more cleanly, I kind of broke it out of the enclosure. I didn't desolder anything from this hub. I did um, cut the tops of the connectors off on the other side of this PCB so I could get it the pins on the connectors. Refocus. Um, and that's what these ribbons are soldered to directly. And then I've got hot glue there for a strain relief. Uh, but these are double-sided taped down. They're not going anywhere, both the Teensy and that hub. Um, and it it works. It does the thing. I'm just going to be plugging it in and testing it for a few days to make sure that it will continue working. I really want to avoid the case where um, I send this off to the customer and after a week, two weeks, six months, the hub dies. Like I, that will be really unfortunate. So if this thing will survive longer than the previous one did. While it's in my hands, I'll feel more comfortable sending it out. 
um, at the beginning of the video, I talked about two different hubs I'm testing. This is one of them. I've got another one coming. Um, it had to ship from China, so it'll it's going to take longer to get here. Um, but it's an actual two-port hub with no enclosure and no connectors, so it, it, it's intended to be used for stuff like this. This isn't intended to be used like this. It's just a hub that's intended to be used normally where you plug your mice and your keyboards and your peripherals into it and plug it into your laptop or whatever. I've just repurposed it and you know taken the enclosure off to make it fit. The other hub I've got is actually intended to be as small and compact as possible with no connectors, just um, pin headers or pins similar to what's here on the TNC to solder directly to um, that's intended for this sort of use. So I'll be testing that one as well. But I just wanted to show this off since this one seems to be more reliable so far. Um, and uh, if you, if anybody gets a Tartarus mod for me, this is the sort of mod that I will be pursuing. With the end result being obviously that no longer will there be a, a Teensy taped to the outside because that's how it used to be. You know, this side module sitting here and there's a Teensy on the outside of this that another USB cable is coming out. And then, you know, the factory USB cable is also coming out, and which is two USB cables, so no no more of that. I'm just going to be having one USB cable coming out, and it's all going to be internal. Um, the other thing being this, uh, this LED that I've got here that's connected to the Teensy, because the Teensy does do uh, boot up LED sequence stuff. So you can enter keyboard mode and do calibration stuff, and it, it, that's, it's a signal LED, so you can see what it's doing and get feedback. Normally, I have the onboard LED, which is right here, visible, since this thing is normally just on the outside there. But no more of that, so I had to give another way to do it. So um, all this just let's see if I can do this one-handed. Move out of the way. All of this just kind of neatly sits. underneath underneath this um, I'll get it no I won't it's a little finicky underneath this uh, there we go the switch PCB and then the uh, enclosure for the Tartarus goes on top and all this is hidden so you don't see any external wiring or anything like that. It's pretty cool. It looks good. Yep. So that's where we're at with this. Let me know what you think. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks.